Are you looking to implement a new team collaboration tool? This toolkit is designed for you. In this toolkit, we begin by discussing the common business case for the implementation of a collaboration tool. Next, we look at some evidence-based advice for successfully navigating change and starting a project. Then we walk you through key stages of the implementation project, helping you to conduct a needs assessment, develop a communication plan, elicit stakeholder support, and select team collaboration software. For each phase, there are links to tools and templates that support the key activities, making it easy for you to work through this project on your own. Let's take a quick walkthrough of the website to show you where the content lives. Here on the homepage is a high-level overview of the toolkit inclusions, as well as a list of the benefits of implementing a social collaboration tool. Benefits like the enablement of timely feedback and the opportunity to enable work integrated, just-in-time learning. These benefits are a great starting place when developing your business case. The Change Management tab offers some high-level advice that is helpful to read and reflect upon before commencing a change project, such as a technology implementation. For example, research on resiliency can help concretize the importance of a robust communication plan. In addition to being helpful considerations for you, this information can be useful to share with your stakeholders to drive understanding and buy-in. This is particularly true in cases where a small project, like a collaboration tool implementation, is not automatically considered worthy of full cycle project planning. The Get Started tab includes numerous resources to help you plan and manage your project. There are introductory materials for those unfamiliar with formal project planning, as well as a number of tools that help you manage your project from inception through launch and maintenance. In addition, you will find a few resources designed to support effective teamwork, a critical element of successful project planning. Next, let's look at the phase tabs, which walk you through the different phases in the planning process. The first phase in the project is needs assessment. This phase focuses on identifying gaps between current and desired results. It uses three steps, SWOT analysis, needs analysis, and prioritization. The SWOT analysis looks at strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, with the strengths and weaknesses often being internal to the organization, while the opportunities and threats are often focused externally. SWOT is simple, but powerful. It enables the project team to uncover opportunities that are wise to pursue, given internal strengths, as well as threats that are wise to mitigate or eliminate. The needs analysis looks at how the technology, in this case, collaboration software, meets the needs of stakeholders. It provides data about the causal factors of the gap between current and desired state. Several sources of data are explored, including observation, surveys, and questioning, to name a few. In addition, several tools are included to help you work through this step. The second phase in the project is communicate change. This phase focuses on crafting a communication plan that is structured and open and has frequent touch points. It uses two steps, pre-work and design the communication plan. Pre-work is simple. It's focused on ensuring you have a good handle on your project before you begin communication planning. You will want to review items like guiding principles, project milestones, and project metrics. Once you've reviewed the key project documents, you can move to developing the formal communication plan, which should include touch points throughout the project cycle. There are several resources here that will help you ensure your communication plan generates enthusiasm, motivates adoption, and drives ongoing user engagement. The third phase in the project is stakeholder support. This phase focuses on the importance of understanding stakeholders, as well as how and what to communicate to them. You'll find many useful resources here, including information on building a stakeholder-aligned business case, tips and tricks for eliciting stakeholder support, information on effective surveying to harvest information, as well as a full analysis toolkit and an engagement toolkit. The fourth phase in the project is choose the right tool. This phase focuses on helping you select a collaboration tool that suits your requirements as dictated by your pre-selection project work, including your needs assessment and stakeholder analysis. You'll find many useful selection resources here, such as general information on collaboration tools, advice on tool selection, and some best of lists compiled by technology analysts. In addition, information on a few popular tools such as Slack and G Suite are included. These will give you a sense of the type of information you would seek out once a tool makes your shortlist. In combination, these four phases will help ensure the success of your implementation project. Thank you for joining us and we hope you find this toolkit useful on your project management journey.